Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to load an app on your iPhone even if you have not enrolled for a developer program. Up until iOS 8 or Xcode 6, if you wanted to load an app on your device, say for testing purposes or just to demo it to a client, you would need to enroll for a developer program. Now, starting iOS 9 or specifically Xcode 7, it is now possible to test an app that you are working on on your own iPhone without enrolling for the developer program. So what do you need for this? You need a Mac running OS 10 10.11 or later. You can make do with a Mac running OS 10 10.10 as long as you meet the second criteria which is Xcode version 7 or later. This is a rather strong requirement as this feature is only available from Xcode 7. Apart from that, you need an iPhone, iPad or an iPod Touch running iOS 9 or later. And lastly, you need a free Apple ID. Once you've gathered all these things around, all you need to do is prepare your app. So go ahead and create your app in Xcode. Once you're ready to test it on your device, you need to open Xcode preferences and sign into the account section with your own Apple ID. Let's look at how to load our app on our iPhone. Here I've created a simple project which we will use for our demo purposes. To load the app on our iPhone, the first thing we need to do is sign in to our Apple ID on Xcode itself. So let's go to Xcode, Preferences, Accounts, click on the plus sign, click on Add Apple ID, and let's sign in with our Apple ID. Click Sign In. Note, this is the free Apple ID. So there you go, we've signed in. Our team name is Student Amaranthan. This information was pulled from the Apple ID itself. And we can freely test for iOS as well as Mac. Once we're done with this, we close the window. And then under the settings file, under general, we look at the team information. Right now it says no matching provisioning profiles found. Normally, when you sign up for a developer program, you have a valid certificate and a provisioning profile which you create from the developer portal and then download and install on your Mac so that you can go ahead and test your app on the device. But in this case, we do not have a developer program account. So to create a provisioning profile to test on an iPhone, we need to click on fix issue. It's going to confirm with us the team for which we're going to be using for development. So I select the student Amaranthan team and click choose. So I had previously used this computer for development. So it says you already have a valid iOS development certificate in the member center, but it is not installed locally. So you can reset the current certificate. I'll go ahead and do that. Note this is a one-time thing and you don't have to do it again and again. So my team is now student Amaranthan. I go to build settings next. Make sure all is selected. And in the search field, run a search for code, sign. Here, I'm going to code sign my app with the student one account. Make sure all the fields have the same information. I've done this for the target. I will do the same thing for the project. All done. Now the last step is to select the phone. All I have to do is click on run and this will run, build the app 
and load it on my phone itself. Make sure when you're testing your device on the phone, your phone is unlocked. We've got a message, could not launch iPhone demo, which is our app, for security reasons. To fix this issue, we now need to turn our attention to the iPhone screen. Okay, so here's my iPhone screen. Let's try to launch the app iPhone demo, which I just loaded. I get this pop up. Your device management settings do not allow apps from developer iPhone on this particular iPhone. You can change the settings from the settings app itself. So I say cancel, drag down, and open the settings app. I then go to general. Device management, developer app, and then I say trust student developer. Let's go back home, open it, there you go. There's my app. We type in some information there. Submit. There you go. This is my iPhone running live. This is not the simulator. This is on my iPhone itself. 